is a brief introduction to the concept of the sunshine. So here we are. Are we rolling? Yeah. Okay, so here we are at Carthe Circle again, where the uh, statue of the pioneer... Huh? Gone. They pilfered it for uh, scrap copper. Keep in mind that all instances that follow are fact. And now, our ambient. But now it's gone. But that's not why we're here. Today. But that's not why we're here. <laughs> we're not here because it's gone. We're here because across the street uh, was a vaudeville theater uh, back in the day. And uh, we're going to see if there are any remnants of the ghost or if the ghost is still haunting the area of where the theater once stood. So we're going to go over there across the street where this big office building is now and see if we can come up with anything. Recently I seen him seize coming through While I was at home on my couch watching the boob tube Fighting like a roughneck just to stay loose As I sat and wrote rhymes on a page like Mother Goose This was the problem So here we are at the uh, location of the uh, Carthay Circle Theater The former location of it It's been bulldozed and this building has been put up here but here we are, we're uh, walking, I think. So this, uh, this would be the back side of what was the theater. Yeah, this would be the back side the, towards, towards the backstage area of the theater. So, yeah, the back oh, side yeah. of the theater. And uh, the closest we can get to where the haunting was reported to have taken place. So we're going to walk down here and take a look. Take a vibe. These are large rooms here. Is that like a wooden floor in there? I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting. It's but empty. It is, it is uh, sort of theater-like still. Results of a test. The heart of all whiteness lies rooted out west. Right smack dab inside my civilization. The hunt for an MC brings investigation. This might be the area where... But the, the energy just feels different here as yeah, you're walking? Yeah, it just feels different, yeah. Is it... I mean, what? It just feels like there's uh, a presence here, like right where I'm standing. It's... And when, when you say it feels like a presence, is it just like, like what would you? Of a, of a person associated with like that time period, that era, or something, something so, I mean, exotic, it's other than. It's gonna sound stupid. But is it like a tingle, or? It's just like uh, if you feel like you're standing near somebody. And you're not really looking at them or touching them. Or you or can something. still feel you that they're them. right. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Or somebody behind you. Yeah. Or somebody. Uh, yeah. Somebody in close proximity without looking at them or touching them or. So as you walk down them. the street, you get that feeling. Yeah. Right about here. In this area right here. But also, I get that there's other presences, other presences that linger in this area associated with that time period. Like and they're all in this spot, or are they just oh, throughout the building? In throughout here. the building, okay. Yeah. Can I mean, are they? They're inside the building. in a single spot. I mean, can you uh, sense, or are they kind of roaming? It might be where I don't know. I feel like it's towards the front of the building where the ticket office was, or the ticket counter. They made the people that work. I want to say there were people that worked at the theater for a long so time. So somebody just in the same spot every day yeah. doing the same job. Yeah. But just in sort of death, that energy kind of just there, lingers. There's like an emotional attachment to the place. And that's what I feel like. All right, so this would be the front of the theater. Yeah, this is the front. Uh, here we are at the front of the theater that used to be here. And uh, I also get there's like uh, residual energy of like people, like people coming to the show, crowds, uh, audiences and stuff like that. Just an energy that this was like a place to come see a show, so there's like a lot of good energy here. Um, you can you can feel what the, the excitement of people and yeah, the line yeah. getting wait, their ticket or... Yeah, exactly, that type of thing. I don't know if you'd describe it. it. Yeah, I would say it is a haunting, but I don't know that it would be something people would see, maybe feel, or sense. Maybe those that are very sensitive would pick up on something like that. Presence is such as uh, an actor who died on stage or people that used to work at the theater. You have to be pretty sensitive. 
neurotic, probably. He'd have to be <laughs> extremely neurotic. No, I uh, think that uh, that uh, there's a lot of energy from the audiences that used to be here, and uh, the uh, possibly a little bit from the actor that uh, died on stage here too. Still, after all these years. So the theater is gone, but he 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 remains. He remains with the location. So I guess even if there's a new structure over where a pre-existing structure once stood, he, he stays associated with the land, no, this with the location, and the hundreds of sprinkler systems. What I mean is basically there's no one who comes off correct and stands in the sun of Cal. But here comes the change up in trend. Now, um, you said you, you feel like an excitement yeah. here. Uh -huh. Do you think the do you think the people who work here, like you know, they enjoy coming here? I don't know. Maybe it does affect. Uh, maybe that type of energy affects the uh, people that uh, work here. The general state of the people that work here. I mean, I hope they're not jumping off the top of the building on their <laughs> lunch breaks, but uh, could be that they're uh, they enjoy working here. Could be that would that would be another maybe a survey we'd have to do. <laughs> do you enjoy working here? Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm dying on stage when I'm working here. <laughs> 